Want to increase the RAM or player slots of your Shockbyte server? I'm Owen from Shockbyte and in today's video I'll be showing you how to upgrade or downgrade your server plan. Upgrading and downgrading your service lets you adjust the resources available to your server such as RAM or player slots. Depending on the game server you have, you can do this at any time in just a few simple steps and will automatically upgrade or downgrade your server once the steps are completed. There won't be any file loss or change of server IP when upgrading or downgrading your service. Your server will simply be adjusted to the new plan that you select. First, log into the client area at shockbyte.com forward slash billing forward slash client area dot php, which will also be linked down in the description. Select services on the navigation bar then My Services. From the list, select the service you wish to upgrade or downgrade. Then click Upgrade slash Downgrade from the Actions menu on the left. Select the new plan that you wish to change your server to. You are also able to change the billing cycle of your service by selecting from the drop down menu for the plan you have selected. Once you are happy with the updated server plan and billing cycle you selected, click Choose Product. Then proceed to make a payment for the invoice that is generated under your account. Your server will be upgraded immediately after your payment is received. It is important to note that if your next renewal invoice has already been generated, you will need to pay this before making any changes to your server package. This doesn't mean that you will be paying any extra, the system will only require you to pay the prorated amount when upgrading, so you will only be charged for the price difference between your old and current plan. If you are downgrading, you can receive a prorated credit refund of the extra amount you've paid by submitting a ticket to our billing department. You now know how to upgrade and downgrade your service with Shopbyte. If you found this video useful, then please leave a like and subscribe for more game server tutorials such as this one.